Super Bowl pop sensation Beyonce announced Act Two, the second album in her Renaissance trilogy. This was accompanied by two country singles, Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. Though many music stations and media platforms have been reluctant to call the songs country. WBK Sarah Phipps spoke with a Western Kentucky University music instructor on why that is and some of the greater impacts black culture has had on country music. John Martin, a senior music instructor at WKU, said Queen Bee's snub on the country music scene more than likely stems from a dislike of change in the country community. One of the things that country music um, fans have sort of um, shied away from is having their music become too popular. There always has to be some sort of an otherness about country music. And, and I think maybe in Beyonce's situation, that otherness, she just kind of wiped that out when she sold however billion records she sold before she made the, she made the country album. Martin said many of the late greats of country music took inspiration from prolific black artists of the time, which in turn helped shape the genre. Well, even the early, if we look at some of the earliest artists, even um, A.P. Carter had Leslie Riddle, who was an African-American musician. He was apparently a fine musician in his own right, deserving of his own career. Uh, but his claim to fame was he traveled around with A.P. Carter. And as I understand it, I think he was, he was good with melody and he was good with remembering things. In fact, Martin said old hymns from black churches and slave songs helped set some of the country music composition standards. It, it seems like if there was a white musician that heard an African-American musician do something that they hadn't heard or something that they liked, they would learn it. They'd go home and figure it out and they would start incorporating it into their thing. They could care less. It seems like nobody cared as far as the music, where it came from or what it, the racial affiliation was. Many of these influences we can even see and hear in today's country music. <laughs> So anything that you hear that sounds like that, that sort of has that loping, just kind of funky rhythm, that's a direct influence um, from African American music from that swing rhythm. Um, and it took people a long time to, to understand, just to get a grip on exactly what that was. Martin acknowledged that country music is a predominantly white field, but encouraged aspiring black country artists to never give up and try to push through. Reporting in Bowling Green, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News. Sarah, thank you. Really interesting. Some of the late greats of black country music include the aforementioned Leslie Riddle, Rufus T. Tot Payne, and Deford Bailey.